Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It's yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And on this edition, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Saints wide receivers. Now, this topic was given to me by a few members of the Who That Nation. Uh, if you're not following Facebook, go to Facebook.com, search the State of the Saints podcast. And basically, all of the topics that I talk about were given to me by fans of the New Orleans Saints. So, if you have any questions or any topics that you want me to talk about, go to Facebook.com, search The State of the Saints Podcast, all right? So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about these wide receivers. Um, people have been asking me, uh, should the New Orleans Saints try to go get another wide receiver? Um, you know, Dez Bryant is still out there. Dez Bryant got signed by the Saints around this time last year. He only practiced like twice before he tore his Achilles. Uh, you know, they got... A.J. Green out there in Cincinnati, you got to believe he's not happy with his team not winning a single game this season. There's even a tight end in Cincinnati. People have been talking about Tyler Eifert, um, a really good tight end out there in Cincinnati. You got to believe that he's not happy in his situation. So should the New Orleans Saints try to go out here and sign any of these guys? You know, I'm going to be honest. Um, I've never really been big on teams uh, getting wide receivers in the middle of the season or when the season starts, because I really feel like uh, football is about chemistry, working together to achieve a certain goal. And I feel like that kind of starts at training camp. Um, that's because um, that gives the quarterback the ability to work with some of these wide receivers and develop chemistry and timing or what have you. But when you look at the New Orleans Saints and you look at their coaching staff, you look at Coach Sean Payton, what he does better than most coaches in the National Football League he puts guys in positions to win their matchups. I mean, we see this over and over again. Um, and this is going into the second season that basically the New Orleans Saints just use three receivers. And one of them is a running back. They use Alvin Kamara in, in different type of ways. They use their tight end, Jared Cook, in different types of ways. Last year, um, they use tight ends uh, quite often. And then, of course, they use Michael Thomas. And that was kind of like <laughs> the offense, to be honest. <laughs> but... I think um, Sean Payton does an outstanding job. So to answer your question, do I feel like the Saints need to go out here and get another wide receiver? I I'm just going to say it wouldn't hurt. Um, A.J. Green, I think that he's uh, coming of age and uh, coming to a point in his career where um, he wants to cement his legacy and, and possibly win uh, a Lombardi trophy. Um, of course, you know, it probably would hurt him to leave Cincinnati, a uh, place that drafted him out of the University of Georgia, um, but when you reach a certain age, you want to be a champion. You want to be a guy that can um, go out and say, man, I, I won the big one. So I would look at A.J. Green first. Uh, Tyler Eifert, uh, he's an incredible tight end. I think he came out of Notre Dame, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but um, the thing about Tyler Eifert, even though he's really good, um, he's had a tendency of getting hurt. I mean, I can't remember how many times he's been out for the season with knee and and certain type of injuries, you know, torn ACL and, and all of that. So, I mean, Ty Leifert is an incredible tight end. When he is healthy, I mean, he's one of the elite. But the problem is he can't stay on the field. And as far as Dez Bryant is concerned, um, I really don't know that much about Dez Bryant. I mean, I know he said in a tweet a couple months back that he needs to get himself right. I, I assume he's talking about getting his health right. Um, it, I know he probably has something to prove. Uh, you know, getting cut by the Dallas Cowboys and and basically the media disgracing the man, even though I don't feel like he deserved it. Um, I feel like he he does have something to prove. But out of those three guys, I would have to go with A.J. Green. A.J. Green, um, he kind of fits into a Saints locker room. He's not one of those guys that go out there and you see him all the time, all up in your face. Um, you know, the diva type wide receiver. He's a quiet guy, man. I mean, I know him and Jalen Ramsey got into it like one time a couple years ago, but that was very uncharacteristic of an A.J. Green. I mean, he's a guy that's quiet, um, a guy that goes out there and just does his business, and I think he'll fit really well in the Saints locker room. Um, Tyler Eiffel would be second, and Dez Bryant, in my opinion, would be third. I mean, no disrespect to Dez Bryant. If the Saints were to sign him, I think that he would contribute in a big way, of course, because of Sean Payton, but... I will go with A.J. Green because A.J. Green is incredible, and I feel like uh, he, he still feels as if he has something to prove, and he's one of those guys that can run every route and somebody that the Saints can utilize probably um, better than the other two. 
But I would like to hear from you. What do you think about the Saints wide receiver situation? Uh, about uh, possible trades? Or what do you think they need to do to try to improve uh, their wide receiver court? Comment down below, like, and share this video. Till next time, all I have to say is, who that?